Hey ladies and gentlemen, good morning from Central Texas USA where it is cloudy, not rainy, cloudy. I mean there's just a few drops falling but every now and then the sun shines and talk about a change from the flooding to a little sunshine and tomorrow it's supposed to be even better and then we get back to normal and that life is good. But having said that, I had a viewer leave a comment. This is what we're going to talk about while I'm driving down this highway. Park Road 4 in Central Texas, headed towards Kingsland, Texas. It's uh, uh, it's about 10 o'clock, oh, excuse me, it's about 10.25 a.m., 63 degrees, very little wind. Just a nice day to be out for a drive. But I had a, co a comment from a viewer who is getting a 2019 Casita Freedom Deluxe in January of this year, or next year, all right? which is great. I'm, I'm happy for them. It's a couple, apparently. And uh, the question was, <clears throat> how hard is it to turn the bed back into a dinette? Because if you're going to be using the dinette, then every day you have to get up and put the bed up. You'll put the cushions back and make the uh, back into a dinette or dining area. How hard is not very. I've done it. <coughs> it takes about, oh, I don't know, five or ten minutes depending on how slow you move. But it also depends on what you, if you have anything on top of those cushions that you have to put somewhere. All right, now if you're just sleeping on the cushions, which are hard as rocks, then that's fine. But if you have a, a memory foam, something you've got to roll up and stash somewhere, good luck with that. And also, since you've gotten the, the Freedom Deluxe with the swivel chairs, uh, I have heard this saying about the casitas. Uh, they call it the casita waltz. And when two people are inside the casita, they do a thing called the casita waltz. That's a low water crossing that always floods. I'm surprised it's open, but anyway, enough said about that. Yeah, you got to learn the casita waltz, and what that means, you got to know how to get by each other while you're inside of the RV. Now, I'm going to tell you, as a couple, as a couple, you may want to change that to the Spirit Deluxe, okay? Now, that's just my opinion. It's worth nothing. If you want those swivel chairs, you get them. For one person, me, they work wonderfully. For two people, you'll have more space sort of with the bench seats and you'll also have some storage underneath the bench seats which you do not have really under the swivel chairs now you can stuff some stuff up under there but then your feet are going to be hitting it and all that crap but that's your choice and again but as far as making the bed back into a dinette which i've only done one time uh, it's not difficult it's not the de degree of get difficulty is you know a, a one or a two not nothing it's just a matter of doing it you know <clears throat> and if you're storing stuff up under the dining t uh, table or the sleeping area in the back there then you're gonna have to move that stuff around and so you know it, it could be a could be something to think about but as far as other uh, living arrangements for two people now again, I'm just one person and I've only been living in mine, let's see, I got it on October the 3rd, is that right? I don't know when I got it. A close. So I've been about two weeks, so I'm not certainly a pro, but I can sure tell you from two weeks experience that if I had somebody in there with me, they'd probably be dead. Dead. Alright? Or they'd be sleeping outside. <clears throat> no, it's not... Uh, it's not a big unit guys I mean it's not I mean I hope you've done your homework and gotten inside of it and uh, you know laid on the bed and all that you know again for if it's just one person maybe I misread the uh, comment because I made the, it, it, it led me to believe it was a couple because I think it was the word we was used maybe once but again it's all your choice but knowing what I know now in my opinion which is worth nothing nothing N O T I N nothing I would certainly uh, take a hard look at the uh, spirit model with the bench seats I know that there's an attraction to the uh, 
swivel seats and they do look good they are comfortable two people can sit there facing each other and I'm sure you've probably done that and you and your wife girlfriend or whatever sat there and looked at each other and just could see harmony and happiness and all that but if you'd have stayed in it for three days you probably would have looked across that little table with daggers coming out of your eyes all right because it is a small space guys I am not kidding you I mean my 16 foot coachman is like huge compared to the casita but for one person which makes all the difference and no pets no pets now if, there was, if there's two people and a dog welcome to the world you know what I mean but again you know if you're you know a lot of couples live in them you know I don't know about the Freedom Deluxe so much, but I know they live in casitas. A lot of couples do, and uh, you know apparently they do okay. You know there may be some bodies on the buried out in the desert somewhere, but you know that's the way life is. <laughs> anyway, that's all I can say about the viewer comment. Now I want to move on to something else that I just thought of because I have viewers ask this. Okay, for you guys that just tune in to hear about the casita, you can click off now and go enjoy the your rest of your weekend. Uh, now for the you hangers on you, you dedicated loyal fans uh, Remember back in the 60s you know, all, Viewers have asked me you know what type of music I listened to probably a hundred times and All I, I what I answer is is I, I actually stream Pandora relaxation radio that that's it I don't stream any country western music no jazz no nothing I just do Pandora relaxation radio and that's it and I know that probably sounds boring or uh, not so smart for some of you but for me it just works great and that's who I'm concerned about me you know they've got the National Guard here in Kingsland Free lunch for flood victims. There's National Guard preparing a lunch. They got all their equipment here. That's awful thought. You see, you know, we got a good governor, Governor Abbott. He's a pretty good guy, I guess. Anyway, having said that, back to the music. But I can remember in the 1960s, and some of you older guys will maybe recall this, there was a singer named Johnny Rivers, okay? And, and back then, you, you, when they first started putting music really in cars, it was eight track, okay? Eight track tapes. And then they went to four track, then they went to cassette, then they went to the CD stuff and all that. But I started out with eight track. And it, you know, if you had, if on a rough road, the music would actually skip and do all kind of crazy stuff. But one of my favorite tapes that I really enjoyed was Johnny Rivers. And I had a 60 four and a half Ford Mustang 289 and I was in heaven because I went to San Antonio Texas and they installed the stereo with four little four speakers that was all you could get and I got the biggest ones you could get and they were probably about four inches in diameter and uh, I, I just thought that was heaven I, I would ride around Kennedy Texas with my stereo up as loud as it would go which was not very loud but not anything like they've got now where it vibrates your car and uh, and listen to that music so now whenever i hear uh, a, a car with boom 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 you know i know that that would probably be me you know because i want I, if i like my music i want everybody to like it you know if i hear it i want them all to hear it well anyway here i am at the kings and the post office i'll end this video in just a second but so that's the music I listened to. Of course, you know, I did a little of the Beatles and, you know, a lot of the Eagles stuff. And, and I still like to listen to all that old music. I still do. I was listening to Johnny Rivers a little bit this morning I, just because I was, I remembered the name finally. I, I, you know, he wasn't, he certainly wasn't the most popular singer, but I thought that he was a great. I mean, I did. I think a lot of people did. A lot of people had Johnny Rivers tapes at that, in the 60, I'd say 65, 66 period in that range back on in here but anyway guys for those of you that are thinking about getting you a casita 2019 if it's a couple then uh, I recommend you look at both the spirit deluxe and the freedom deluxe before you make your decision and actually if you could it would be really nice 
if you know somebody that you could rent one from for two or three days is actually test it out because uh, you know it's a uh, it's it's a it's a long-term decision you know but one thing good about casita even if you make a mistake you know even if you make a mistake and decide that you know that this is not something i really want to do after you've had it for a couple of months uh, you can get out of it uh, and probably just maybe get burned a thousand or two bucks you know which is pretty good for buying a new rv and getting right out of it but anyway just wanted to give you a heads up on that and thank the viewer for the comment Making the bed back to a dinette is not that difficult, uh, but doing it every day for me, if, since I live in the casita, I'm not going camping in it. But if you're just going camping, uh, yeah, everything will work out fine. If you're just going to, you know, maybe you know, two, three week uh, ch camping trips, it it'll work out because you, you know you won't be in the killing mode, uh, you know, for three weeks. But uh, you know, for months, uh, you better really like your honey because uh, it's going to be a stretch <laughs> anyway. Thumbs up, guys. Adios. Bye, bye, bye. Anything you want. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why do I put it there? Because I get a small commission and it costs you nothing. Some of you have been using that Amazon link. I appreciate that very, 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 very much. Thank you. And, and for those of you that don't want to fool with it, no problemo. See, that's Spanish. I'm good at that. And what else? Uh, take deep breaths. Uh, stretch. Walk. Whatever it takes to keep your health, you'll feel better and uh, stand guard at the door of your mind, you know, let ne positive stuff in and eliminate the negative and, uh, you know, just enjoy your life the best you can because it's yours and if you waste it, you did it. So adios amigos, bye bye.